Howdy everybody, so, uh, you read the title, at least that help. Three years of doing Rec Room YouTube, that's longer than quite a lot of Rec Tubers. So I've been at this game for a while, and I just have some stuff to go over, as you can probably tell. Uh, I guess the first thing I'll go over is, did we find the creator of the Slenderman map? No. I tried looking myself for, I think, two straight months. I continue looking, searching everywhere, searching for even like a hint of the fact that the guy existed. The only facts are the old videos and streams done in that map. That is all you can find. The man is like gone. Maybe he committed a crime or something and he just went like, see you later. So sadly we did not find him. So big sad. Maybe someday, maybe someday. Second thing is exams right so you remember what i was saying right remember what i was saying about oh i have to do exams and all and what was it the video why i didn't upload for two weeks or something right yeah today's the last day of exams i'm recording this while doing them by the way so well during the week i guess and yeah today's the final day i'm doing my final exam so videos will probably become more consistent but don't depend on it because my family are coming over every weekend and that's when I like to record and then school's still a thing during the week and all. And like streams, I really want to do some, but I just haven't had the actual time and privacy that I'd like. If that makes sense. I don't think it makes sense. I never make sense, let's be honest. But those are the two mini things I want to go on before the main point of the video. So didn't find a map creator, exams are over, so it's it's a win and a loss, I guess. That's what we're covering at the start of this. Now on to what I actually want to show. My journey on Rackham YouTube. That is the point of this video. So, why did I start? Rec Room is a game I started to really enjoy playing in virtual reality in 2019. I first played it on VR in 2018 on Christmas day when I got my motion controllers. I had the VR but I didn't have the controllers. Don't ask why. So I used to be a screen mode when I first did join. Yes, I'll admit that. Most people know that now anyway, but I enjoyed the game back then. I was like, oh my God, this would be so sick if I was actually in VR. Cause it was rare to find someone on screen mode in screen mode lobbies. I could never really find a VR player. So, I remember going on for the first time and it was so weird to like, move the gloves I've acquired, which wore these ones. It's the first ever thing I saw in VR, these. So, I guess I just started uploading because I enjoyed the game and it was a game I was consistently playing. And it was just like, whenever I enjoy a game, I upload it. Y'all know that. Whenever there's a game I like, I'll just upload it. Not to see how it did, just because I enjoy it. And then I can look back. We're looking back three years into the past now, ladies and gentlemen. That's quite a while. So that is why I started. So how did I begin to grow? I didn't use any tactics or any strategies. No one, well, some people try to grow sometimes it succeeds, sorry. Uh, but most people just naturally gain a following. Like I uploaded a video back 2020 March 14th, if I'm correct, of me screaming about not getting a gown for graduating film academy because I was stressed that I would not get it for the graduation, which I did, by the way. I got it, went to graduation, said a speech. That's fine. So I just, was just screaming about it. Next thing you know, I uploaded it. It's the first video that's ever hit 1K views. The closest uh, that got to that was a FNAF viewer video. Like, well, I forget the name of it, but it's a short video. That got up to 900 views and I was like, this could be the first thing to hit 1k on my channel. No, then that came by and now it's on like, what, 30k plus or something? Fe no, it's not 50k, Jesus Christ, imagine. But then people in Rex and us, they just started noticing me more. It was weird. I wasn't used to it. I'm like, shy boy. So people were like saying my name. I was like, who there? Who you is? I'm used to it now, of course, but... I guess that's how I began to grow, and then I just uploaded more. People really enjoyed it. People really liked the streams. Came to join me. Made a whole bunch of friends, and I'm still making some. So, 
I guess that's that's kind of the story of how it began to grow. It was unintentional, but it was like a blessing in a way. How has Rec from YouTube helped me to change how I act, think, and talk even? So, I wouldn't say like it was intentional for any of these. By the way, I didn't just change because oh, I Rec from YouTube would change who you are. No, I used to have a more higher pitched voice even when joining Rec Room. Uh, I sounded like I was around, I'd say around 14. I sound like I'm in my 20s now, which I'm not. I'm not. I promise to you I'm not, okay? But I started, like, playing more. And I guess over time, with the amount of times I started making videos, I got this, like, kind of YouTuber voice. Because I got so used to it. And it started naturally growing deeper and deeper and deeper. And, like, here we are. What if it still gets deeper? That's the thing. Think about that for a second, right? It's changed how I think because... In school and stuff similar, even in public, I'll see something and I'll be like, that's an amazing video idea. That like that's gonna give me inspiration to do this. And I would sneakily, if if in school, I'd sneakily write it down on my phone. Like sometimes just looking in my pocket, picking the letters to like write it vaguely and then finish writing it when I get home. And then record it, of course. Like I have a full vo uh boulder folder of video ideas written down to me. And they just come to mind at random it's changed how i think because it gives me i guess a more positive mind and it gives me something to think about and keep my mind busy that's what i like about it i'm never like not thinking about anything and i know that can be good sometimes yes that can be amazing sometimes but i just like to keep my mind busy I like to keep it moving before i eventually go fully brain dead because i don't know if there's a brain up there could just i'll be air in space would it be air i don't know see listen just Shush, okay? <laughs> how has it changed how I act? This one is weird. So, I guess I used to act more like shy. I said that in the last thing as well. I used to act shy, more like quiet. I didn't really move around much. Like, see this, what I'm doing now? I would probably just be like, have my hands down here and talking. But no, I'm doing this because it's just how I act. It's just how I move. It gets me that extra bit of exercise, I guess. And it's changed how I act for a good way. Because I enjoy moving around now. You know, I like challenging myself to see oh, how fast can I get to my door and back now. I know that doesn't really have anything to do with recommend YouTube. But it's not making me think of keeping fit to move more on VR. Because Beat Saber, I guess, is a thing. So that kind of showing me like oh yeah like crouching down and like hitting up high and stuff it showed me to try and move around more so on rec room i used to do funny like kind of not skits i guess acting i still do it at times when i can but i used to do funny stuff in like worlds and st worlds rooms as in uh, i guess i can show an example here right so, one of my good friends made this video a while ago now. Uh, I guess it perfectly explains this. Um, I'll show it. So, you'll see my mouth and eyes are a little different because it was a recom glitch that moved your facial features and you couldn't reset them for some reason. Uh, yeah. So, I'll put that now. Deck Deck's cooking show. It's an old clip, but it's a classic clip. I always like returning to it. You can see like exactly what I mean, so. I don't. Okay, this is gonna be a very special episode of Deck Deck's Talking Show. Today, we are going to be talking a human. We have one in the fridge, nice and ready. I put him in the fridge. He's the murderer. He's the murderer. Scat man. I'll do the okay, famous thing. Okay, so what you need to do is. You need to just. You, you don't even need a knife. Declan, feed me the carrot and I'll do the famous thing. My food is moving. <laughs> So, uh, what you want to do next is you want to make sure he's clean. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Okay. <sighs> okay, so, uh, once you make sure the body is actually, and the person himself is dead. But what you do next is you need to kind of just, one by one, start cutting every body part one by one. And uh, no, we will dead. continue this no. next time on the next episode of Dark Dex Cooking Show. Yeah, that's the clip. That's what I used to act like in public rooms. See, like, 
moving around more and stuff. People used to find it funny, people enjoyed it, and I did it for my own personal amusement. So, I guess that's how I changed my thinking, acting, and talking. So, how it's currently going? At the minute, not the best for the sake I've been busy in the real world. Because with the funny, the funny thing going around this world right now, don't worry, Susan, I got your back and won't say it. it. Some of the restrictions have been lifted in Ireland anyway, and I've been able to do some stuff I have not in years. And I guess it's kind of like a wave of nostalgia now, and everyone likes that feeling. Well, I guess sometimes it can be a bad wave, it can be good, but it's like good stuff that I used to do. Like, I'm going to go eat into a restaurant soon. I've not done that in like two years. Like it's been a while since I've done that. And I'm excited to do it. So it's not going the best at the minute. On my channel. Aha, there's the twist. Other people's channels I've been on like some of my good friends. Like I've been on Chubbier's channel. I've been on Carl's channel. I've been on Sonic's channel. I've been in multiple videos from my good friends and it's quite weird to see how you can get a group of random people to all meet up at the same time and just have a good time that's why i'd recommend go watch those videos as i said there's a, there's a playlist on my channel videos deck deck is in that and his own video or something i don't know it's a stupid title but there's over 100 videos there and they're all videos that i'm in even if it's just for five seconds, I'm in it. So, at the minute, not the best. But hopefully it gets better. Because I do have some video ideas written down, as I said. Some of them might do well, some of them might do bad. But I do them, as I said, for fun. Just because I got a bit of popularity does not mean I think of it any differently. I do it for the memories. So I can look back in years and be like, Damn. I was a dumb piece of shit. The future of Reckham YouTube, for me, and just in general. Let's start with in general, right? So, Requiem has gained a lot of popularity, and I've been seeing a lot of bigger YouTubers, like big, like million sub YouTubers playing. Some of them sponsored, some of them not, which I find surprising. Some of them are just playing it in their own will, which is amazing. Like, um, one guy I really like and have for years, he's been playing Requiem. He's been doing videos on it, and he's been enjoying it. One sponsored video led to, like, at the minute, there's like three other ones. And you can see he enjoys the game. And it makes me happy because it shows that it's not just the Requiem community that can enjoy the game at first glance. Like we're used to this, but random people that have never seen the game in their life can just get online and have a good time. So I think for Requiem YouTube, it's going to start going up. There's going to be more people now soon again. And there's going to be more popular people. And the more popularity Requiem gets, the more popularity it will get on YouTube for the sake it's kind of like a chain reaction. If one thing gets popular, like say, let's use an example, right? So, me, for example, right? YouTube gets popular. I promote my Insta sometimes. That gets popular because I promote it over here. It's a chain reaction. Requiem gets popular, it gets popular on YouTube too. Which is really cool to think. Like some Requiem YouTubers have a chance of getting to 100k. That do mainly Requiem YouTube, by the way, not like the bigger guys. Like, it's crazy to think. Some of my good friends who I've known for years, who used to be on like, what, 2, 3, 4K, smaller than my channel now, are reaching the bigger numbers, double digits and beyond. Which is crazy to me. I think Requiem YouTube is going to go far away. Or at least I hope so. So, now for me. How's it going to go for me? So, I've been doing this for three years, right? Do you think, like, I guess the thing you're probably question is, will this video be again in a year? Will we be doing four years? That's a question I can't really answer. Because, well, if, if you couldn't tell, I haven't been to the future yet. Yet. So, I guess I've no intentions of stopping. Yes, I play Rec Room less. Because I've there's other games to play and there's other stuff to do i still play it though whenever i can because well my friends over here that i like to see every now and again so i think the videos are gonna 
if if the ideas keep popping into my head, the videos will keep rolling out. I've no intention of stopping, cause well, I like the community that I'm cur like currently in, which is you guys. I like the nice things you all say, I like seeing y'all in game and I like speaking with you all. Makes me happy. And the amount of friends I've made in this YouTube community, like, oh my god, I'm friends with some of the bigger people. I'm like, cool. So are you. So, I think I'm going to continue. I don't have any intentions of stopping. I want to branch out my content more, but that being said, people like this game for the content. People do like other games sometimes, though. Like, what was it, the FNAF Help Wanted video? The first part, thank you for that. It made me really happy that I saw that got over 100 views. It made me really happy. Like, I want to branch out to, I guess, games like that. Other VR games in general. I don't know if I do just, like, desktop games. I'd love to, yes. They're mainly for streams, I feel like. I don't know proper videos on them. I will sometimes, of course. I'd do any game over here and, like, branch out. And maybe in the future do more vlogs a little bit no idea though but i guess the future it, it could be bright it could be dark that's something you don't know and that's kind of the good thing about it you don't know what awaits you so i guess that's all i can really say i began because i enjoyed rec room i grew because i was screaming about a gown i just enjoyed the community i'm in and i'm gonna keep doing these videos I guess that really sums everything up, huh? Thank you for watching. Thank you for an amazing three years of doing Rec on YouTube. Maybe we can turn it into four, maybe five. You don't know. As I say, you don't know the future. Not really much for me to say. Just thank you for, I guess, watching. Thank you for joining me on this adventure so far. And thank you to those who've helped me try to look for the creator of the stand on my map. Because there was quite a bit of people looking. So thank you for that. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being there. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That You get the point. You get the gist. So, I'm going to get going. But, I hope you have an awesome day. Stay safe. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.